Something's not right here. But see, this same rendering is also found in the New King James Version of the Bible. That same idea. They've changed the Word of God. Mark chapter 10 verse 24. And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, how hard it is for them that trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. And I believe that, don't you? Notice what the NIV says. How hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. Notice they took something out, didn't they? And they've changed the entire meaning of the verse. And they're trying to tell you. That, uh, listen, and they're trying to tell you that it's hard to get to heaven. And I want to tell you guys something. We don't need it any harder than sometimes it is. Amen? Yeah. And I know this life, is, if you're going to live this life the way the Bible says, it's hard. But I want to tell you something. I believe in grace bigger than me, don't you? And you know what? It might have been hard to get us to heaven, but God figured out a way. Amen? God figured out a way. This Bible is... And now remember, we're supposed to read these both two translations, and we're supposed to hear God's voice in here somewhere. I'm not buying it. Amen? I'm not buying it. Isaiah chapter 14, 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Who's, who's Lucifer? Y'all believe that's the devil, don't you? Even the witches, the Satan worshippers, they believe that's the devil. They believe that Lucifer is the devil. Okay? You know who doesn't believe Lucifer is the devil? It's the Bible scholars now, and the theologians, and the professors, and now a lot of our preachers. And you know where they got that from? Because the NIV took his name out. How art thou fallen from heaven, O morning star? Do you know who the morning star is? The morning star, according to Revelation 22, 16, is Jesus. The NIV says that Jesus, the morning star, fell from heaven. That's blasphemy. Amen? That's blasphemy. And now remember... Are we starting to hear God's voice here? Mm. Notice I have up here, no wonder, big question marks. No wonder what? No wonder we have sodomites and queers standing behind pulpits in this country. Deuteronomy 23, 17, the King James says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. That's what God said. The NIV says, no Israelite man or woman is to become a shrine prostitute. They took it out. Notice the next one. And there were also sodomites in the land. And they were an abomination, right? Notice what the NIV says. There were even male shrine prostitutes. Took that out. Now that's interesting. Because in case you didn't know this, a woman by the name of Virginia Mallinckrodt was on the translating, one of the translating committees that helped translate the NIV. Guess what she was? She was a sodomite. She was a lesbian. An open one. They put her on the translating committee, Steve, to translate the Bible so that you would understand Mm -mm -mm. No wonder, no wonder, for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. Let me get back here. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. That's talking about John the Baptist. And the Bible says that he was full of the Holy Ghost. When? When he was inside of his mother's womb. So why is it now okay... For us to abort a fetus. D does, does life start at birth or does it start at conception? The Bible says it starts in the womb, doesn't it? Yeah. And yet the NIV says he will be filled with the Spirit even from birth. Now remember, we're supposed to hear God's voice in here. Somewhere, we're supposed to hear God's voice. Matthew chapter 1 verse 25 and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus the NIV speaking of Joseph 
and Jesus, but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son. The firstborn idea is taken out, taking away her virginity, taking away the idea of a firstborn son. Notice in Luke chapter 2, verse 33, and Joseph and his mother marveled at, notice that it called Joseph, Joseph. Who was Jesus' father? God. Was it Joseph? See, you were taught that in Sunday school, weren't you? That Jesus was the Son of God. If Jesus was the Son of Joseph, how could he be the Son of God? Couldn't be, could he? So the, so the King James says, Joseph and his mother. The NIV says, the child's father and mother. It calls Joseph the father of Jesus Christ. No wonder we're not having revival in our country. No wonder the whorehouses and the bars and the everything else are not being shut down in this country. Amen? Luke chapter 4, verse 4, And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. The NIV says man did not live by bread alone. And they've taken out the entire rest of the verse. It's been omitted. Luke chapter 4, verse 8, the Bible says, And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. The NIV says, Jesus answered and said, It is written, Worship the Lord your God, and serve him only. Notice that the devil, who didn't like the fact that Jesus said, Get thee behind me. Notice the devil took those, took those verses out of the NIV, and all the other new translations, by the way. John chapter 6, verse 47, Verily I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. The NIV says, he who believes has everlasting. Believes in what? Amen? Believes in what? Everybody says, you've got to believe in something, right? It's like the bumper sticker I saw. that said, everybody's got to believe in something. I'll believe I'll have another beer. And that's what it said, right? And the idea is, what, what is it that you can believe? Can you just believe in anything and go to heaven? I'm being a little sarcastic there, ain't I? But I want to tell you something. It bothers me. When they say, oh, you just believe now, you just believe now, and everything's going to be okay. That's not the Bible, amen? 1 John chapter 4, verse 3. And ev watch this, watch this. Every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come, how? In the flesh is not of God. Notice what it says here. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. The Bible, the King James Bible, is telling you how to identify the false Christ and tell the difference between him and the true Christ. Because he says that the spirit of Antichrist is going to be where they deny that Jesus is come in the flesh. Look at the NIV version of this same verse. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. What did they take out? They took out that Jesus is come in the flesh. They took that out. So does the spirit of Antichrist, is it in the NIV? Of course it is. Look at the next verse. This verse is completely gone. Howbeit this kind goeth not but out, out but by prayer and fasting. That same verse is also found in Mark chapter 9 verse 29. Matthew chapter 17 verse 21. The entire verse is gone. I pulled that up on my, on my quick verse there on my computer and I looked at it and I took, a, took a, a picture of it. If you'll notice there up on the left hand side is the King James. Notice that verse 21 is printed out. Notice the, over where the NIV is. Notice where verse 21 is. There's a blank there. You know, that ought to tell you something. Wait a minute. Who erased something out of my Bible? And notice the fact that it's prayer and the only real power that we have against strongholds of the devil is prayer and fasting. And they took that out of the Bible. Dun, dun, dun. See, I believe in conspiracy. Don't I? I think something's wrong. Amen? For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. That verse is gone out of the Bible, out of the new translations. Matthew 23, 14. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. That verse is completely gone. How about this one? Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. What's that talking about? And remember that new synthetic doctrine? It says, hell's not on fire. Guess where they got it from? Mark chapter 11, verse 26. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. That verse is completely gone out of all the new translations. Here's a doozy for you. 
These verses completely gone out of the new translations. Well, let me, let me say this. That's Mark chapter 16, verses 9 through 20. That deals with the resurrection of Jesus Christ in the book of Mark. It deals with the fact that uh, when God's power is on us, that uh, they'll speak with new tongues, they'll be able to cast out devils, and all that, stu all that stuff that God promised us He would keep us protected from is gone out of the Bible. Now, you might, if you look in the NIV, you might find it there, but here's what they do. They put a line across the page after verse 8, and they say... The most reliable and early manuscripts and other ancient witnesses do not have Mark chapter 16 verses 9 through 20. By the way, they're lying through their teeth. They are in the earliest trans, uh, manuscripts that we have. I don't have all the manuscript evidence. I don't know all that stuff. But I'm telling you, they're lying through their teeth. What they're telling you is, you have our permission to not believe all of these verses should be in the Bible.